This is a continuation of um, problem solving for position time graphs. In particular, we're going to deal with changing velocities uh, on position time graphs, so non-straight line um, graphs. All right, so if you look at the back to that turtle demonstration in terms of the distances between the various um, points as time goes on, uh, so you have an increasing velocity, and then you have the turtle and the decreasing velocities. And uh, so he, you know, so the distances either grow or they shrink depending on what's what whether you've got a positive acceleration or a negative acceleration. All right, so here's a graph where you have um, a positive acceleration. So you have positive velocity and positive acceleration. So it's so it goes so it goes up and it's got that kind of parabolic shape to it. Um, now here's one where you've got some upward motion here, so it's got some initial um, velocity, positive velocity, but you're getting a negative, um, you have a negative acceleration, so you've got a decreasing, um, you've got a decreasing velocity, so it's becoming more and more negative. So how do you deal with finding the, the velocity on these kind of curved position time graphs. So here's here's that uh, positive changing velocity again. And if you remember, what you do is you're going to create tangent lines. All right. So in this case, I created tangent lines that touch the um, the the uh, the graph at just one one point. So if I take the graph, you can kind of get continue that shape of the graph um, with the different um, tangent lines. All right. So what you're going to do is remember, um, velocity is displace is the displacement divided by time. So it's that, um, and it ends up being the slope of a line segment on your your um, constant velocity graphs. Well, in this case, when you have these changing velocities um, and the curved position time graphs, um, you're going to take the slope of the the tangent line instead of the line the the line segment that actually makes up the graph. So let's look at an example. All right, so here's um, the, that same graph. I'm going to grab I'm going to take an, a a uh, tangent line and I'm going to then I got to pick two convenient points. Now they don't have to be on, touching the graph. They can be two independent points that are easy to read. And I found two that that had specific locations that were relatively easy to read. So I took those two points, and then velocity is simply the slope of that line segment. So you can see that it's 46.2 centimeters per minute. Now this also is how you find instantaneous acceleration on a velocity time graph or jerk on an acceleration time graph. It's all about slopes of lines. Um, so you're going to be doing some exercises in uh, finding um, instantaneous um, motion variables uh, next, so continue on.